talked about much where we're going because I wanted it to just be like a fun little surprise, but we are being hosted by Getaway House, which if you don't know anything about them, they own different little outposts around the country, but we are at the Portland Outpost, which is in Glenwood, Washington. And so what it is, is this little cabin and every spot has a fire pit with bench, with chairs, a picnic table, and then the house. And so I'm gonna show you guys around. But I'm super excited about this. Like I said, we, we were gonna go here in September um, before all the fires and then we got evacuated from my house and things were just kind of crazy and so we had to reschedule our trip but um, <laughs> but I'm so excited so you know every house is cleaned and you get a special code sent to you um, that has like your pin to get inside the house but you walk in there's a little table they left us the s'mores kit, which is super sweet. I cannot wait to use the fire pit. And, um, but yeah, all of them have either a queen bed or there's like a bunk with two queens, little windows to like enjoy the nature. <laughs> um, some books and things, kitchen utensils, two spots on a stove, a little mini fridge, some cleaning supplies, a sink, and there's still a bathroom with a shower. Um, so I'm just so excited to be here. There's even like a little lock box for true escape. It doesn't quite matter because we have no service anyway. <laughs> but even, I mean, like you don't wanna play games or like watch movies and stuff the whole time you're here. The whole point is to <laughs> unwind and to get away and to unplug and be just like with each other and with your family. Um, we're hoping to come back here actually um, in the summer with our kids and do like a fun little glamping kind of trip. Um, but we're so excited. It is so beautiful here with the snow outside. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be snow here. We thought maybe it was gonna snow and then um, the weather changed and so um, it said that it wasn't gonna snow, but I didn't know there's still gonna be snow everywhere and it's so beautiful. Uh, but I'm so excited, so thank you Getaway for hosting us. I'm just super pumped to have our little baby moon out in nature where we can just like unplug and be together, so. to see but we're making pizzas on top of our fire <laughs> well day one uh, day one we tried to uh, make some pizza on the fire outside but it was starting raining fire wasn't getting going anyway so it is what it is um, we ended up uh, bringing them inside and uh, the flatbread that we bought was too big to fit on the one pan that they have here. So we just folded them in half and had calzones, which was pretty genius. And I've also been wanting calzones for a very long time, so thank you very much, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, now we're gonna play some Forbidden Island, which is a board game we haven't played in quite some time. And uh, just relax in the silence of the woods. Good morning. Um... So we both slept okay. <laughs> As always, like we always go on trips and stuff and we forget to turn our alarms off. And so they always go off. So I'm like, oh, TG's preschool alarm went off and Max like usual, like good morning, get up, work alarm. <laughs> um, but we are just cooking breakfast and the snow is still all pretty outside. But yeah, now we're just going to enjoy some coffee and take some pictures for my blog yeah today's just gonna be like our super relaxing day since we have just like the whole day we're just gonna eat our breakfast maybe read a little bit drink some coffee and go for a walk later if it's not too rainy <laughs> so we just finished reading and 
We had our coffee. I have eight pockets. <laughs> I was just like, oh, because we're about to go on a walk now. And I was like, I kind of want to bring the vlog camera, but I don't want to hold it. And Mac was like, I you can use one of my eight pockets. <laughs> They're all over the place. Anyway, so we're going to go for a little walk. There's like a trail. I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way over there, but we're going to kind of walk <laughs> around. Just take a little nature hike. Take a nature hike. <laughs> We found the walking path. <laughs> and now we're walking. <laughs> on the path. <laughs> it's pretty snowy, but. <laughs> we're all crooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we don't find any bears. <laughs> we already have like a. <laughs> we have a plan. Uh, <laughs> escape plan in case there's <laughs> any bears. Back up, <laughs> be big, and her go back faster, and I, I have a knife. Don't run, <laughs> especially with your back towards the bear. See you later. So, we are concluding our nature walk. Uh, we're on our way back to our cabin, and um, we just stopped and did a little photo shoot, which was like perfect. We just like knew it was gonna be cold, so yeah. <laughs> we were like, let's just plan for cold, rainy weather, and mm -hmm. but yeah, the snow just makes like perfect background for pictures. So I am excited to get home and like put all of the pictures together and stuff because yeah. they're just perfect. So it was, <laughs> I'm glad we <laughs> decided to come out and do a walk. And like we, we were gonna leave the cameras, but I was like, let's just bring them just we'll in bring case. Bring them just in case. Yeah. And then we got like the perfect picture, so. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so we're back from our walk and we took some more pictures and I think we're good now. And we can just like relax and <laughs> not. Coast. Yeah, not really think about <laughs> the stuff we have to do. <laughs> um, so we're just having lunch real quick. Excuse the hair. Some. We have like fancy grilled cheese and spaghettios. So. By fancy, she means Classy. that we bought good cheese and not just, <laughs> not like, just like American cheese. <laughs> the craft singles. Craft singles. <laughs> yeah, we might just take a nap and <laughs> play another board more. game or read. Yeah. We usually save our board games for like bedtime. time. This is really good. <laughs> Did you put both cheeses on yours too? Mm-hmm, the same one. You have Havarti and Gouda grilled cheeses. So There's good. dinner and we played another game that we played last night um it's called forbidden island and normally mac and i like do really well <laughs> um but we like i mean and i guess we could have won but if you've ever played the game 
um, the island kind of like floods around you and you're supposed to like escape. Well, we were like ready to escape for like six turns <laughs> and we just never got a helicopter card, which would have allowed us to win, but then we drowned, so we died. <laughs> Um, but yeah, tomorrow we are leaving and so we're basically just gonna like probably read a little bit more and maybe have a snack and wake up, have breakfast and clean our cabin. So, talk to you tomorrow. Good morning! Um, so we're about to leave. Mm -hmm. Um, we're actually gonna leave a little early because we, we like woke up early kind of intentionally kind of unintentionally um it was all unintentional yeah we um, were okay with it but yeah it, it felt really good even though it was only like seven yeah. um we were yeah it was like six fifteen, and then i looked outside and there was a little bit of sun so i was like oh let me just open those blinds and then we just laid there staring out the window yeah. hoping for deer or something yeah bear. the first night that we were here we saw a bunch of deer and some like cat I think. I'm still unsure if it was like a regular house cat or if it was just an house cat. It, was... it just like was shaped differently. <laughs> um, but yeah so we got like a slow start to the morning. We like just laid in bed and drank orange juice and mm -hmm. read and we had breakfast and just cleaned up and so we're like got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah this was just like a really really good trip. Um, I definitely suggest it, especially for like a baby moon because I, well, I was a little nervous, I guess, just because like we have no cell service at all. There's no Wi-Fi, like, so we can't even make a phone call. There's like a landline. So if you like need to call someone or if there's like emergencies at home, <laughs> it's there for you. But, um, but yeah, like we, it, there's nothing. I mean, to do that we would normally like do at home, you know, like just sit and watch TV or whatever. Um, so we had to be like intentional about how we were going to like spend our time and so we brought board games and like books, which we used them, but like it was, we talked probably <laughs> more than anything, yeah. which is a, is a rarity. rare for us at <laughs> home to be yeah. able to just sit and talk. And have like an actual conversation from start to finish and not yeah. be like, oh yeah, we were talking about that thing two hours ago and we got interrupted by the screaming children. <laughs> Um, and honestly, like, that was just, like, the best part, was just getting to talk in peace and quiet, eat un uninterrupted meals, whether it was, like, you know, because we can get easily interrupted by our phones or by other people or kids, TV, mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> and, yeah, it was just, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. I definitely suggest it. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we brought all our own food. There's, like pots and pans and a little fridge don't trust the freezer <laughs> yeah only thing it's I a mini fridge so yeah, I mean, yeah what do you we expected it to not work anyway so yeah um <clears throat> the only thing i wish we could have gotten more use out of is there's like a big fire pit and like a picnic table and some benches outside um and it was like raining most of the time, so we couldn't really go out there mm -hmm. and start a fire. <laughs> or at least, like it's not raining right now, but we don't need the fire. Like yeah. every time we were like, oh, let's start the fire, then it was rain. rain. <laughs> we're excited to maybe like bring the kids in the summertime mm -hmm. instead of doing like our normal camping stuff that we usually do. Um, the only thing is, is like obviously this is like a very probably more adult friendly place. Just because it says like if you're outside you still need to be very quiet and respectful because like that's kind of the whole solitude piece is mm -hmm. <laughs> very big yeah. um here might be a struggle with our kids yeah so we'll see <laughs> how confident and mature they're feeling at the time mm -hmm. and so we might change our minds but we we definitely like can see the huge benefit of like doing something like this other than normal tent camping especially when you have potty training toddlers. <laughs> That's probably like what killed us last summer. Because TJ and Sarah were both potty training and they were both doing so good and then we went camping and honestly, since last July when we went camping, we've struggled with their potty training. And so, not fun. No. <laughs> but 
I definitely recommend a trip like this because it was it was special and it was just like peaceful and I mean that's what you want <laughs> when you're yeah. getting ready for a baby anyway you just want like a last like few moments of peace before. calm before the storm <laughs> yeah <laughs> and yeah it was just perfect with the snow and everything too so oh, that yeah. made it even better it's really nice out there mm -hmm. well thank you for uh joining us on our baby moon <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun, a lot of quiet, and mm -hmm. definitely super highly suggest it for uh, anyone else's baby moon or any time you want to get away. Speaking of getaway, so definitely check them out, okay? Yeah, they have a lot of outposts like throughout the country, um, the and so you might be country. surprised um, where that there might be one near you. Yeah. Bye.